Hello everyone, you are Dr. Zia Tahir here. This video tutorial is vibration analysis of eye beam with different end condition to find natural frequency and more shapes in Anzit workbench. So the beam here is uh, DAN 1025 normal flange I100 beam. Its overall depth is 100 meter, overall width is 50 meter and width of uh, thickness of webs and flange is 4.5 and the fillet radius is 0. Here the fillet radius is shown some uh, fillet radius but is 0. Its length is 4 meter and subjected to free vibration. The modulus of elasticity, Poisson ratio and density of beam materials are 210 giga Pascal point three and seven eight five zero. So required is natural frequency and mod shape of first three modes of vibration for following and condition. The first one both fixed and it means it is a fixed fixed beam. Both pin ends it is a pin pin beam or a simply supported beam one pin and one fixed and one fixed and one free so that is a cantilever beam and then compare numerical results with analytical results so this beam dimension are taken from this reference engineering toolbox here so that is a normal French i beams so here is the width depth and then thickness of webs and flange and i100 so that is its depth 100 its width is 50 its web thickness is 4.5. So this problem is solved in two uh, parts. In the first part, uh, beam with both fixed and will be modeled. And in the next part of the video, rest of three are being modeled. So comparison of numerical with, uh, results with analytical results for, for analytical results, so that is mechanical vibration book by SS Rao 6 edition. It's chapter 8, continuous systems, and then topic 8.5, lateral vibration of beams. So in the lateral vibration of beams, here is a formula for natural frequency. So that is a formula to find natural frequency, and BL is required, and BL is a solution of frequency equation and this figure 8.15 common boundary condition for transverse vibration of beams and for fixed fixed beam that is the frequency equation and these are the values of roofs of that frequency equation first four roofs so uh, analytical results will be taken from this book and they are compared with numerical results so steps for model analysis of I section beam in ANSYS. So these are the steps first to start a model, then add material, then in the geometry design modeler need to create model, then in model need to assign material, meshing, analysis setting to find maximum modes and then apply boundary condition. So for fixed fixed beam that is support will be fixed and for simple support or pin support displacement with pin x0 y0 and then the solution deformation total deformation to require more shapes and then the total deformation how to show it and the finally comparison with the analytical result so analytical solution for frequency and more shape takes them from chapter 8 continuous systems of mechanical vibration by ss Rao. so first step is to start a project and project is model and need to save model and here we are, that is uh, ANSYS workbench, a standard layout. And here we have model. So double click on model. And it, model analysis is being added in the project schematic. And then need to save that model. So I'm going to save that I section beam. So that model is being saved. So now you can see here, you have that I section beam. Next step in the engineering data need to add material and required is linear elastic and for linear elastic E and U are required and for physical property density and then need to save material. So here on engineering data double click on engineering data 
and then here create here to add material so i am using steel as a new material so when that steel is being added so from physical properties we need to drag here on steel uh, density and then in the linear elastic isotropic elasticity we need to drag in here so the density of the material is 7850 modulus of elasticity is 210 gigapascal and Poisson ratio is 0.3 so now that material is being steel steel material with density and uh, modulus of elasticity and Poisson ratio is being used here so we need to save this material and then to close it and that's done next step in the geometry need to sketch that and for that analysis type is basic geometry option solid bodies and analysis type is 3d and then need to start design modular geometry so here you are on click on the geometry and then basic geometry option solid bodies okay and then analysis type is 3d okay and then run right click here and new design modular geometry a new window will open for design modular geometry so you need to go to concept cross section i section and then add dimension and then generate so here concept cross section but before that better to change units to millimeter concept then cross section and here we have i section and need to add dimension here so w1 and w2 are the w1 is uh, the width of that is the width of lower flange w2 is upper flange and then w3 is overall depth so w1 is 50 millimeter w2 is 50 millimeter w3 is 100 and then t1 is the thickness of lower flange t2 is the thickness of upper flange so all these are 4.5 upper flange is 4.5 and then web t3 is the thickness of the web so that is 4.5 so now you can see that cross section is being uh, now created and then need to generate that so then i section is being generated so the next step is to create extrude and then add length and then generate so once it's done i change the units to meters now and then create extrude and now here you can see that it is giving extrusion and then i am going to extrusion depth is four four meter so that is four meter now and then generate so that a beam is being generated you can see that it's a beam generated with the cross section here the cross section is i section so now model is being created so that is a model is being created so once being created you need to save it so once model is being created so you can close that design model and you can see a tick on geometry which means geometry is created next step is a model in the model need to start a model and here double click on the model it will take few minutes a few seconds or depending upon your uh, computer so it will take some time to open that and similar. so by clicking on model a new window will open so that is a new window and then here in the geometry need to assign material and need to check units so here in the geometry click on the solid and then a material assignment so material uh, is steel which you have created so that is being assigned to that and then need to change a check the units okay so here you can check the units <coughs> okay or you can go hit home and then you can change the unit where the units are standing next step is to create mesh and element size is taken as five millimeter so here mesh click on mesh and you say element size default so change it to five millimeter okay and then on the mesh generate that mesh so mesh with the element size of 5 millimeter is being generated it's a fine mesh compared to the length of the beam so here you can see so i have used that 5 millimeter because the thickness of web and flange is around 4.5 so or you can go 
you can change it to 4.5 so so that is the mesh now so mesh is done so the next step is in the setup click on model and set analysis setting so maximum modes to find are 15 so here on the model that is analysis setting and maximum modes to find i'm going to set them as 15 all the first three modes are required but those first three modes are required in the transverse direction of the beam so i am going to set so that is analysis setting now for 15 more shapes so that is set next step in the setup need to add uh, boundary conditions so in the boundary condition need to go environment support and fixed boundary condition because in this part i'm going to use Fix, fix boundary conditions and that is simple so uh, here when you click on the solution so yeah, sorry if you go if you go to uh, click on model and then in environment you can find fixed boundary condition so it's a fixed support and then uh, click here on face selection so that is a face selected apply and then that fixed port I am going to rename as one fixed port. So then another fixed port. So that I am going to name it as fixed port two. And that will be on the other side. So I need to rotate that model. Okay. So that is being rotated. And then with, uh, with the box zoom. Okay. So now I am going to select this face. Apply. Okay, and now this psychometric view. So now you can see that this is a fixed port on this end, and then the fix other fixed port two is on the other end. So these boundary conditions are being. So next step is, uh, if you have other boundary condition like simple port, so then you can choose that pin port there. So next step to view more shape need to go deformation total and definition is mod and need to add mod number and then duplicate so that is simple go to solution click on solution deformation total deformation and then total deformation one and associated mod shape is one and i'm going to duplicate that okay so that is total deformation okay and for that one is two and similarly need to uh, duplicate 15 deformation so now here the total deformation for first mode second mode third and keep on going till 15 so they are being added here next step is solve and for that one it's very simple just click on solve so all these uh, you can find it will take some time and then you will have a solution so green ticks on all that solution and then here you'll get those frequency for first 15 modes and these are the frequency so the solution is done next step in the results to uh, for more shape is a total deformation and show one deformed model so here you'll have that uh, in the solution okay and then that is a total deformation for the first mode but we are looking for uh, vibration in transverse direction and for that one i am going to show undeformed model okay so that is undeformed model and this is the uh, first mode shape is in uh, that is not in the transverse direction so let's say and then that is the second one okay so that is also not in transverse direction so then this is also not in transverse direction and the fourth one is in that is the first mode in transverse direction and associated uh, frequency is 44.382 then then ninth is in transverse direction and that is the second mode in transverse direction or in yz plane and its uh, frequency is 120.4 and then and then the 14 is in transverse direction and it is 231.24 so actually three modes were required first mode but in the 3d modeling 
so it is possible to have more shapes in any direction so that's why i have selected at the start 15 modes and out of those 15 modes only three are in like in xy plane you can see if that is the longitudinal considered as x and then the lateral as y so in longitudinal and lateral direction only three more shapes are there and then associated frequencies for each one so they are given in the tabular form and they are being displayed here as a graph and also the the value is being shown here that what is the frequency so next step is a comparison with analytical result and for analytical solution frequency and more shapes are required so for six between that is a frequency equation so you need to solve that frequency equation to get its uh, roots so first root correspond to first mode second to the second and third root correspond to the third so they can be substituted here to get more shape and then on the previous page so they can be substituted in equation 8.93 to get the uh, natural frequency so this was solved in like first to solve solve frequency equation to find beta l value and then beam properties length 400 width 50 millimeter overall depth 100 millimeter thickness of web and flanges 4.5 millimeter modulus of elasticity density and then the natural frequencies requirements and then there is more shape script for that so if i'm going to run it so these are solution of the frequency equation 4.73 7.8 so which is there 4.73 7.8 so because three more shapes are required so i set that value between uh, 1 to 10 so if more are required so you can increase that value from here and then the natural frequencies are 44.92 123 242 and these are the mod shapes so these are the mod shapes which we, uh, we just observed in xy in transverse plane and here i have copied uh, result for first three mod shape for six six beam so here you can see that these are the values 44 123 and 242 so they are being copied here and then associated uh, so these are from ANSYS workbench numerical results of the natural frequency. Here you can see that the for the third mode is 230.24. So, so these are the value and the percentage difference by taking that analytical solution as reference. So the percentage difference for the first mode is minus 1.2, the second is minus 2.8, and the third one is minus 4.8. So these values, uh, the percentage difference can be uh, improved or the solution uh, numerical solution can converge better by uh, changing element size so here because element size i have taken as 5 millimeter so you can change the element size you can change the element shape or you can change element type too so that you will get a convert solution so that is all uh, vibration analysis of i beam with six six uh, ends or fixed boundary condition okay to find natural frequency and more shape and then a comparison of numerical results with analytical results so for next three part pinned and pinned and fixed and and one fixed and one free and so you can watch part two of this video so thank you very much for watching